Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to understand the demonstration of college inquiry chatbot project using machine learning and the NLP algorithm. So as far as this project is concerned, it's all about designing a chatbot for college inquiry. So for example, uh, you are about to take admission in some college and you want to know something about that college. Now, generally, uh, if there is no chatbot, then there is some person who is answering your questions. Now we have created a chatbot which will answer all your queries, whatever you ask regarding that college. For that purpose, we are having a data set of that college and uh, using that data set, we have trained the NLP algorithm and based on that, uh, particularly speaking, we are using cosine similarity transform algorithm in this particular project, uh, which is implemented in Python and NLP libraries of Python. And also we are using SQLite database to store the user information and at the front end side we are using HTML and CSS coding along with the Flask framework of Python. So once the project is uh, in running state, so there are so many options. So first of all, you can log in from here by providing your details or you can create your accounts if you want to create your account or if you in case you forgot your password, then you can uh, definitely get it back from this particular page by answering the security question. Now let's log in because we are having already in the account. Now once you log in, so you can see this kind of interface. So on this particular interface, we are having the Oreo of the project. That means the domain of the project, data set used, algorithms and frameworks. So now the data set is self-made because uh, this we have designed for a particular college. So we have taken one college website and from that we have uh, created some answers to so many questions and we created database from that college website. So that's how it is self-made, but definitely it can be modified to any other college and any other data set can also be plugged instead of that data set. So uh, otherwise this problem statement, proposed method, conclusion, introduction, this is all about the project. Now most important page is asked to college board. So you can, uh, you will just have to put your details and then you can put your number. And now this information is collected for just to uh, have the inquiries, so to have the record of the inquiries, who is inquiring about the college and all, so that they can use it for marketing purpose. Now here, uh, you can ask some questions. For example, uh, who is the principal of college? So you can ask so many questions. So this is the answer to this question. Now, if you ask, uh, let's say, uh, let me know, You know about the admission process and accordingly it is responding so this way it's like a normal chatbot only and then uh, you can let's say uh, okay thank you so that's a, a response from the college board so that's how it's like it works like a college board it's like a work it works like a bot but it is trained to answer the questions related to that college. So you can ask regarding the hostel facilities, you can ask related to the maze facilities, you can ask regarding the branches of the college, uh, different courses offered by the college, fees about the college, and so many di different things that we have uh, uh, added into the database and from that it is generating the response. And as it is NLP based, natural language pro uh, programming based, so the format of the question can be anything. It's not uh, you are asking the fixed questions and it is responding to that fixed questions. It is like you can ask, you can do the variation in the question. Like for example, I have asked here, let me know the admission process. So you can even ask, I want to take admission, please tell me the process. So the question format can be anything. Uh, only thing is that it is finding the cosine similarity between your question and the probable answers in the data set and based on that it is generating the response. So that's all about the complete implementation of this project. Uh, oh sorry, there are some features as well. So if you want to give feedback to this then uh, you can uh, just write here and then you can put your feedback let's say or let's say satisfactory answers. So let's say you can rate, this is the feedback and it will be rated. Uh, if you want to check the users, bot users, so these are the users, bot users. So these are the people who have uh, taken, uh, submitted their details while using the bot. There are some unanswered questions. So in order to improve the bot, if the bot fails to answer the question, then that question will be automatically stored in this 
unanswered questions so that in future the bot developer can add the uh, this kind of questions or answers to these questions in the database so that the the performance can be improved and the feedback record so what our users have given the feedback so their record is available over here so the feedback record is also stored and then you can log out from the system so that's all about the complete implementation in case you are having any kind of uh, queries or doubts or in case you need the code of this project then you can check the description box under this video thank you